All right, let's talk about today's card, Dreadnought. But first, as a programming note, tomorrow's update might be a little late. Tomorrow's update for Thursday might actually be on Friday. I'm working late tomorrow. Don't know it will come out, but it will come out, meaning if it doesn't come out on Thursday, there might be two on Friday. But enough about tomorrow. Let's talk about today. Dreadnought, my key event. Um, a lot of ground on this card was covered very well with Danny in his card of the day thread. Um, thank you very much to Danny for the card of the day threads. Cover a lot with the card. Um, there are a few things to add, though. Uh, specifically with this being an event, it playing after an attempt fails is not necessarily a bad thing. Even though missions are generally made to be completed, you'll get more failures than you have completions, hopefully if you're doing your job right. And also with it being an event, a lot of cards that protect the personnel from random selections do so during a dilemma, not an event. In fact, you may have a pretty good chance of hitting someone who's immune after they're done with the dilemmas because you've conveniently gotten out all the personnel who are immune to dilemma random selection. Um, it, it is a pretty good card. The cost is a little iffy, but as Danny said, there's ways to reduce it. So yeah, pretty good card. Goes nice in the Maquis arsenal. Uh, it does depend on how good you are. It's seeing how good your opponent is with attempting which mission or not. Uh, but remember, the Maquis do also have a uh, biogenic weapon, uh, which will have them attempt attempting a mission before another one. So it's a good trick for them to have in their arsenal. If you play it right with multiples, you can get multiple kills. At a discount, that's not a very bad deal at all. There are comparisons to other cards with similar effects. We'll see how this one works out, but uh, fits in very well with my key bag of tricks. And, yeah, that's about all I have for today. Uh, good card, fun tricks, integrates well. A uh, card that Lore will absolutely hate. Well, the virtual lore from Favor the Bold, at least, uh, gets around some tricks that you normally can't conventionally get around. And, yeah, good my key counterpart for cards and other sets. All right, that's all I have for today. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow or maybe the day after.